There's a condition relative to variant called pseudotubo cerebi. Can you talk about that and how you as an ophthalmologist could be involved? Well, pseudotumor cerebri, the reason why they call it pseudotumor or false tumor is because it's not actually caused by a mass in the child's brain. It's a pseudotumor. It's not a real tumor. But it gives the impression that the child might have a tumor. So when you look at the optic nerve, what you'll see is actually a swollen disc. Okay? These children, uh, it's worrisome, but normally there's some underlying cause for it. For instance, if a child is taking too much vitamin A, he could actually have a development of brain swelling, even though there's no tumor involved. If a child has, um, takes too many steroids, he could actually have a swelling of the uh, brain, and that can actually cause the appearance of, uh, of a, pseud a pseudotumor. Um, these children will usually have an increased pressure when you do a spinal tap. Um, most of these children first will obviously have an MRI or a CAT scan because if the child does have a mass and you do a spinal tap, it could cause herniation of the brain if you go in and do a spinal tap at the wrong time. So we first, the first thing we like to do in a child with a pseudotumor is to make sure that there's nothing going on in the brain. Once that's decided, then we can actually go in and do a tap of the, spi of the spinal cord and then that, in that case what we'll see is an opening pressure which is very high. And that'll tell us that there is swelling, but it's not related to a mass.